It's the call of the singing lemur, recorded and played out on the phone he's holding. The Indris are the only mammal besides humans who use patterned rhythm. It's their way of communicating. Within seconds, there's a cacophony in response to the recording from the lemurs all above us in the rainforest. The guides are monitoring the lemur numbers. The singing primates are on the verge of extinction in the wild, threatened by hunting and habitat loss, exacerbated by climate change. That call had an amazing effect. They're actually, they're actually replying. <laughs> very noisy. Oh, very, very noisy. Too much, I make peace. He made four, right? He's calling it peace and sure. This is after the fighting. Like, oh, oh, like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, very special. Yes, until I to 10 kilometers, you can hear his communication like that. Kristen is head of the guardians of this forest, the protectors of the enormously rich natural treasures living here and only found here. But they are very few in number. And look at the scale of this forest they're trekking through. This is a relatively small one, just 750 hectares. But underneath the canopy, there is wildlife, plants and insects you'll find nowhere else on Earth. But the deforestation is happening at such a rate that studies suggest all of these eastern forests could disappear within 50 years, and with them, the unique treasures in them. People collect the leaves uh, to export, I don't know for what, what kind of essential oils. But until now, that is a bigger problem in our forest here. And we make a patrol like this to, to interrupt and to stop completely 100%. Look. Ooh. The lemurs survive on these trees. If these trees disappear, the lemurs disappear. And you can only find these lemurs, and there are over 100 different species of them, here in Madagascar in the wild. And they are the most endangered mammals in the world at the moment. They're trying to grow new trees endemic to this area. But these are small beginnings, and it takes time they don't have, with extreme weather hampering those efforts. Normally, uh, this is the one of the rain seasons, but no, <laughs> there's no rain. This is, uh, I can say, this is the problem with the climate change. They call it slash and burn. Almost half of this forest has been left degraded due to this practice clearing land for crops, and it has a devastating impact. Among those killed almost to the point of extinction is the golden mantella frog. All the country's frogs, and they have more than 300 different species, play a vital role. If there is a place without frog, there must be a big problems of malaria, because frog eat insect. They eat mostly um, uh, mosquitoes and ants. So if, 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 if a place is, have not any frog, they must have a big problems of some disease. But the forest guardians have their work cut out for them. Making notes and taking GPS locations of felled trees isn't halting the destruction, and the locals pounce when they know the patrols are off duty. It is really, really very uh, bad because uh, we are growing the more trees during every year, but the people are still in cutting, so that's why we need uh, help. Each big festival, Independence Days, Christmas Days, and the New Year's, people, because all is dancing at home, like this, like this, and all is cutting profits because missing no people, no patrol. Poverty is driving up poaching and even eating their unique wildlife as people struggle in the face of unusually extreme weather. This fat tailed dwarf lemur, which looks in a very sorry state, was rescued by the guides when it became sick after being held as a pet. The only primate known to hibernate, Kristen and his daughter decide they have to release the lemur back into the wild. How do you feel about saying goodbye to him now? Sad little bit, eh? Sad little bit. Because beginning you stand looking at me, oh, no. Little bit sad, touch my heart a little bit. But now it's got the chance of survival. So much of Madagascar's natural treasures are being robbed of that. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Madagascar.